Good evening. Welcome to tonight's episode of Hypnotist Bernie's Exposition. I'm Bernie, your hypnotist. Once again, um, our guests have difficulty finding Central Square in Cambridge again. Um, she is somewhere on I-93, somewhere around the Lynn and Berry area, and uh, she's not expected to be here until after 9 o'clock, so uh, I ask her to uh, kindly to go back where she's from, and uh, turns out that Central Square, Cambridge is the hardest town to find anywhere in New England, which is fine. So tonight what we're going to do is what we have done a couple of times before, um, which is you, the viewers, is going to have a hypnotic experience, so you want to join me. Now, some of you have already experienced this before. I've got a lot of friendly emails from people who saw the show before. Um, the people who choose to go under hypnosis tell me that they feel very wonderful, relaxed, calm, and happy afterwards. Now, for some people who rather keep their eyes open and not follow along, um, they told me that you know they were amazed at the the way the session has gone and how wonderfully simple it is for them to, you know, to choose to play along if they choose to play along. Um, now, I've demonstrated it before um, where a lot of you have emailed me and asked me can you be hypnotized with your eyes open and I've done the demonstration. Um, some of you have asked me could I use hypnosis to make you fall asleep faster at night? And we did that and it was accomplished. Um, and all of you asked me um, if hypnosis could bring you good luck. And we did that a few weeks ago and a lot of you reported feeling a lot happier um, after the session. So that was great. Um, so. A lot of you ask me, you know, hey Bernie, um, you know, you have, you're pretty advanced in the way you think and the way you do and, you know, the techniques that you gave us on TV, right? Um, but how about the classic, like springing a pocket watch or, you know, how about like following eye movement and, you know, following a movement of finger swinging back and forth, that kind of classical hypnosis induction? Now, of course, it is not normally done in a clinic uh, where there's so much close interaction between the hypnotist and the subject. But I was thinking about, you know, how some of you phrase your email, and I thought to myself, hey, um, since this is on TV, and as much as I try on this end, to interact with people who are watching this right now. Um, you're not really here in my office or in my studio right now and you know there has to be some distance that you know um, in a normal clinic it doesn't really happen. So maybe following eye movement is not uh, such a bad idea you know how about returning to the classic um, which is what we're going to do tonight. Um, in a moment I'm going to ask you to do a series of, uh, you know, you can choose to play along or not. Um, for those of you who has already been hypnotized, we know that it is a wonderful experience and you would like to participate on it again. And you're perfectly fine and welcome to just watch what's happening or take this and play it later on. Or um, I believe this is going to be on again at 2.30 in the morning, so perfect time if you're already feeling tired and sleepy to uh, do this exercise, but uh, oh, um, before I forget, you can always find this show on YouTube. Just go on YouTube and type in www.hypnotherapy.org or you can type in my name, Bernard Yam, or you can go to YouTube and keyword um, the word Kara Institute, which is the, the company which I work for. Um, or you can always look up Look me up online. You can find my website at www.hypnotherapy.org. Again, it's very easy to remember. It's www.hypnotherapy.org. Now remember, it is .org, not .com. 
And if you would like to send me an email, it's also very simple. Um, all you have to do is type in info.hypnotherapy.org. Again, that is info at hypnotherapy.org. So, and pretty easy to find. Um, and you know, if you if you don't if you can't find me online or if you are not internet literate, you can just you know walk around Cambridge and see this Asian guy with a ponytail. Um, how hard it is for you to miss, right? Um, so, you know, for those of you who enjoy the show, send me an email. For those of you who really don't like the show, you can always also send an email. Um, or for some of you who are, you know, this is an academic term, so for some of you who are, you know, doing research project or hypnosis or psychology, or if you are like a journalist doing like an expose on, you know, evil hypnotists in Cambridge, Drop me a line, and I'm happy to uh, show you my line of work and uh, show you what we hypnotists do. Um, and you know, um, for those of you who have been following this show, I've gave a couple of science lectures. Um, so, if you want to learn about the scientific fact and the latest uh, skinny on experimental hypnosis, you can always also drop me a line. Um, again, my email is info dot hypnotherapy dot org. Again, my website is www.hypnotherapy.org. So, we got this out of the way. Um, so, there's my contact information. Um, so, th for those of you who have been following my show, right, um, sometimes you have guests on the show and you see how easily they fall under hypnosis. It could take place anywhere from within half a minute to you know, 10 minutes to half an hour, but usually it takes place in like a minute or a minute and a half. But uh, since we still have about 20 minutes to kill, we can uh, take a little bit longer to doing that. Uh, for some of those you who feel that, you know, you know, you know, you know, I can't possibly go under hypnosis in one minute, or um, sometimes people think that, you know, they want to get their money's worth since they are here for an hour, you know, I can do a longer induction and if that makes you feel better. So what I want you to do is hold on your hands like this, right? Just put your hands together like this, clasp your hands together, fold your thumbs together. Now push your fists as far as possible. Lock your shoulders, lock your elbow, and push your hand close, 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 closer and closer together. And push your arm as far forward as possible. Feeling as if you're into your television, into your television, into your television, into your television set. Feeling like you're pushing through your television set or your computer screens, all the way through to the wall, all the way through behind the wall. As your hand gets tighter and tighter and tighter, you'll feel that they're being glued shut, glued together tighter and tighter and tighter. As I count from three to one, no matter how hard you try, you will not be able to pull your arms apart. Three, two, one. Try and you cannot. Try and you cannot. Try and you cannot pull them apart. Okay. Now you can relax your fingers. You can pull your arms apart just like that. Isn't that neat? Um, it is one of those suggestibility tests that uh, a classical hypnotist learned to do in the class and. Uh, Feel free to try that with your friends. It always works. So for those of you who feel that the arms are close, tight, close uh, glued together, you're, you're at luck today because we're going to do more hypnosis, and I'm going to I'm going to help you experience and use the part of your mind that you don't usually use. Now, a lot of people may have told you this, and it is also true in many ways that we only use about 10% of our brains at a time and 90% of our ability and 90% of our talent, 90% of our mind are laid dormant because we don't use our mind fully. So what hypnosis can do is to help you bring all this unconscious potential, bring the rest of your mind into full potential Full, full actualization, fully enable yourself to use your entire mind. That is the goal of hypnosis. Now, 
as I've mentioned earlier, the number of times where I did hypnosis on television, I did progressive relaxation, um, where everybody got to feel good, felt relaxed, very calm, which is what you're going to feel today as well. But today we're going to do something different. This is a classical technique. Um, well, classical in a way that it was, you've probably seen it in the movie somewhere, but uh, um, I have taken this classical technique called eye fixation technique, modify it a little bit, make it more suitable for television, make it more suitable with the language and the culture and the way we understand the human mind in the year 2007. And we're going to do, for the first time in history, a full eye fixation induction, hypnosis induction technique on television from a point of view perspective. Now for those of you who are watching this in television right now, you are in a trade because what you're about to witness, what you're about to experience right now, once again, is something groundbreaking, never been done before, first time on live TV. So what we're about to do right now is hypnosis. Um, for those of you who have been with me before, knows that it is best not to try to go into hypnosis. It is a naturally occurring phenomenon. It's like trying to fall asleep. The harder you try to fall asleep, the more difficult it is. All you have to do is relax and let yourself go, and it's going to happen automatically and uh, naturally. I'm not going to do anything to harm you in any way. And in case of an emergency, you will always be able to snap out of your trance and be able to deal with your emergency with a clear mind and be able to deal with it in the utmost of your ability to deal with all that emergency. And at any time you feel that you want to snap out of the trance, you'll find it very easy to do so. And if that happens, you'll always feel calm, relaxed, and happy. Now what I want you to do is to just follow the tip of my fingers. That's right. Just follow the tip of my fingers. It goes round and round. Round. That's right. In a moment, I'm going to count backwards from five to one. When you reach the number one, I want you to just let your eyes close and go into a state of light hypnosis where you can just let your mind drift and let your mind float further and further away. And when that happens, you can feel the body becoming heavy, loose, limp, as you let yourself sink into your chair. That's right. And as soon as that happens, I would like you to imagine yourself in a classroom all by yourself, looking at the blackboard. And on that blackboard, it's completely clean with nothing on it. As soon as you close your eyes, I would like you to just drift into this classroom. Five four, three, two, one, sleep. Just let yourself go and let yourself drift. Let your mind float further and further and further away. Feeling so calm, so relaxed, so comfortable. That's right. Just let yourself drift further and further away. More and more relaxed. Let your mind float further and further away. Let your body sink deeper and deeper into this chair. All the way through your chair. All the way through your chair in this magical classroom. That's right. 
in this classroom, you can feel and see all the furnitures in this room. That's right. You can hear the sound of children playing on the outside. You can hear the activities going on in the classroom next to you. But you're all alone on this classroom. That's right. Now in a moment, I'm going to count from 1 to 3. When I reach number 3, three I would like you to open your eyes again and stare back at the tip of my fingers. As soon as I say the word sleep, you'll find yourself back. you find yourself back into this wonderful classroom. And the moment you come back to this classroom, you'll see writings on the wall. And the writings of the wall will answer some of the questions trying to hourly, trying to hourly, trying to ask in, the, in your conscious mind or unconscious mind. It may not be a question that you're aware of, but you'll see the answer on the board when you come back to this room. Are you ready? One, two, three, eyes open, and stare back at the tip of my fingers. That's right. Stare intensely at the tip of my fingers. Follow it, move back and forth, and back and forth. That's right. Back and forth, back and forth. Soon, you will not be able to open your eyes any longer. And as soon as that happens, let yourself drift back into the classroom. That's right. As you stare at my finger, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's right. You find that you're feeling very, very sleepy. That's right. You'll find that your eyelid is getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Some of your eyes is already closed. But some of your eyes may be partly open. I would like you to keep your eyes open for as long as you can before you close it completely and totally. That's right. Just let your heavy, heavy eyes getting heavier and heavier. Your left eye may be heavier than your right eye. And your right eye may be heavier than your left eye. It doesn't matter. As I count backwards from 5 to 1, your eyes will become so heavy, so watery, so tired. Then close them and you snap back into a state of wonderful relaxation. As I count, five, four, three, two, one, sleep. With your eyes closed, find yourself drifting back into this wonderful classroom. That's right. In this wonderful classroom, you immediately see the writings on the blackboard. The closer you look at the blackboard, the more clear these writings become. Now the writing is going to contain the answers that you may have been looking for with your conscious mind or unconscious mind. It could contain the answers to questions where you ask before, about to ask, or you might be asking in the future. It doesn't matter. The answer on the blackboard contains your very personal answers. It contains the answers that you have been looking for. 
contains the wisdom that is going to guide you to prosperity, contains the answers that is going to guide you to love, contains the answer that is going to guide you to peace and harmony, contains the answers that is going to guide you through any difficulties in life. It could be an answer you have been expecting, or it could be an answer you doesn't expect at all. It could be an answer that is completely grounded in the truth. It could be an answer that is completely fantastic or psychic in nature. It doesn't matter. All you have to do is open your mind and let those and let your unconscious mind absorb the truth and learn all the new things and relearn all the wisdom from the past from this blackboard. And on this blackboard, you may see the writing changes and shift once in a while. And if, if you ever need to find some personal truth, all you have to do is close your eyes and come back to this classroom. And the blackboard will immediately appear in front of your eyes. And you can find it so easily to learn all the wisdom and all the truth this blackboard. And as you absorb in all the wisdom and the truth from this blackboard, you find this room, this classroom you're sitting in, being filled with bright rays of bright light. This rays of bright light is going to erase all your stress, it's going to erase all your worries, it's going to erase all kinds of exhaustion that you may have. It's going to clear up all the clutters in your mind. That's right. Just allow yourself to bathe in this warm ray of light. This warm ray of light is going to bring you a wonderful sense of confidence. It's going to bring you a wonderful sense of self-esteem. You find yourself filling up again with all positive energies, all kinds of love. And you're going to find yourself reconnecting with all the energy and power and forces of nature. You can find yourself reconnecting with all the life forces, all the forces of the mountains and the oceans, and let the life force of the universe flow into you and flow through you. In a moment, I'm going to count from 1 to 10. When I reach the number 10, you find yourself having learned and absorbed all the truth they've learned in the blackboard. And you allow the forces of the universe flows through you. And when that happens, you find yourself being so much happier, so much more stress-free, so much more confident in your think, ability to think, ability to think, ability to think, in your ability to do, in your ability to feel well. As soon as I reach number 10, you find that you have slept for the last 12 hours, feeling so great so good, so wonderful, full of life, full of energy. As it counts, come back to this room. One, two, three. Feeling so much happier now, so much lighter. Having this big smile on your face, you find very easily to smile at everybody around you. Smile at all the papers in front of you smile at everything that is around you because you're so full of life, so happy, 
so full of energy. Six, seven, eight, nine. Whenever you're ready, ten. Come back to this room, eyes open, wide awake, feeling great. So that was today's session. Feels good, doesn't it? Again, you can find more of me and of hypnosis at www.hypnotherapy.org. Again, my website is www.hypnotherapy.org. Remember, it is .org, not .com. I hope everybody is having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, and this is Hypnotist Bernie's Exposition. You're watching CCTV Channel 9, Cambridge. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening.